A ship with no crew or passengers but a robotic captain driven by artificial intelligence to navigate the vessel. The autonomous ship is set to embark on a transatlantic voyage, retracing the famous, uh, the famous voyage by Mayflower boat about 400 years ago. Our next report tells you more. 400 years ago, Mayflower made a famous voyage across the Atlantic carrying pilgrim settlers to America and making history. Now its namesake, a sleek robotic vessel, is aiming to recreate the Atlantic crossing. Only with a modern twist, the ship will be captained by a robot trained by IBM-designed artificial intelligence. The one million pound ship could become the largest ever autonomous vessel to cross the ocean. It's about as ready as it's going to be from a mechanical and electrical and a power and propulsion perspective. And now we just want to continue to implement the autonomy and stress it and test it and throw things at it that it didn't see before, make sure it's all working, validate it, and then, yeah, I think we're getting close. Everything seems to be working right now. So. Armed with state-of-the-art tech vessel will be able to independently scan the horizon for possible hazards, make informed decisions and change its course based on a matrix of live data. Warning, hazard detected. Rather than having so many scientists on board trying to do lots of different jobs, if you can compress that down into a small payload like this. It really takes the stress off the scientists. They can get focused on actually analysing the data back in a comfy warm office, uh, whereas this is expendable. It can go out there. Um, you can swap it out for different payloads later on if you want to. Um, and it's also, you could, you could cover far greater areas. You could make lots and lots of these boxes and do lots and lots of experiments on many different ships, um, whereas you've only got one scientist who can only do one thing at a time. The creators of the ship are confident that the vessel could herald a new era of automated research ships. We really need a huge amount of data to be able to actually understand what's going on uh, with, with the world's oceans uh, and that's, that's so important and, and using just traditional methods alone isn't going to allow us to actually really scale up how we do that. So, so together those traditional methods and the more um, recent innovations are really going to help enable us and give our scientists the information they need to really do those important um, tasks of, around research and scientific breakthrough here. After completing the six months of sea trials, IBM's Mayflower is all set to sail from the UK to the United States around April 19th on a course closely echoing the 1620 crossing. Bureau Report Vion, World is One.